Hi guys and welcome back. In this video today I'm going to be drawing this piece that's in the little left corner on the screen. It's a redraw from back in May of this year and I just really wanted to redo it again. I actually posted the first half of the video a couple of days ago, maybe a week ago, which I will link up here if you want to watch the beginning of that. But this is something that I really wanted to do ever since I finished that drawing back in May. I didn't like it at all, and if you watched the previous video, you'll know my real feelings toward it were very uh, negative. <laughs> um, I tried to do a painterly style, and I wanted it to look flowy and free without lines, and it did not turn out the way that I thought it would, and ever since then it just kind of irked me just looking at it and whatnot. And if you can see the, the actual piece, um, I think... It just looks funky. His eyes are off, the shadows are off, everything about it was just bad. <laughs> so I decided to redo it uh, a couple of weeks ago and I am happy with the end product. Um, the lines I feel are the uh, my favorite part. I really like doing the line work and um, I feel like they look a lot better. Um, I have a better understanding of how I wanted Blight to look back when I did that in May. I didn't really even have my comic or anything. I didn't really know what I wanted Blight to look like. She was just kind of still this idea in my head that wasn't fully formed and that's kind of improvised. Um, but now that I've actually drawn her a lot and I know her design, I know what she looks like, I know the structure underneath the cowl that she wears, I feel like it has more form beneath it in a way and same with Bram I've drawn him a lot more he's a little harder for me to draw than Blight is for whatever reason um, anytime I draw Bram or um, you know versus another character I always find him hardest to uh, get down on paper or digitally I guess because I don't I don't know why that is I, he looks different every time I draw him I feel like it could just be me I don't know but, you know, I'm growing still, so everyone's going to look a little different from, you know, May to December of 2018, which is in this instance. But I feel like I have a better understanding of lighting and shadows and the placement that I want things to be in. And I feel like it shows with the difference of the two um, pieces. I still could have done the shadows a little bit better in the final product. But I'm happy with it, and you know, maybe next year I'll redraw it again and be a little further than I am now. Who knows? But for now, it'll do, and I really enjoyed working on it and playing with the different light sources and shadows and highlights. Those are always my favorite parts. And the hair. I really love drawing hair. It's my favorite thing. Doing the shadows and the, uh, the stray strands of hair. It's probably my favorite part. Um, but yeah, I really... I paid more attention this time around, I think, than I did uh, with the previous piece. I don't know where my brain was when I was doing that one, um, but it was not in the right state it should have been. I feel like it it just didn't turn out right. I don't know what it was about it, but who knows. And the, in the end product, I actually do two different kind of color temperatures. Um, one of them is the, uh, the yellowish orangish kind of color and then I did another one that was more of a blue tone just because I wanted to see um, what kind of other feels it would have to it um, but I don't know which one I like better it just kind of I just wanted to see what it would look like in the end but you once again the difference between a couple of months if you learn and you take into account what you're doing and you adapt to the Mis I don't know, misconceptions of how you think something should be. I feel like if you just pay attention to what you're doing and how other people do things and then take that into account with your own skills, I feel like you can grow a lot with just paying attention and redoing something that you know isn't right. And that's basically why I wanted to do it uh, with this piece in particular. And I may redraw some other pieces from this year or the year before, um, just because I really like the way it shows your growth. Um, I feel like it's really important to know where you started and where you are now. And when you're beginning, it's really important to prove to yourself why you're doing something and 
why you should do something, even if it's not necessary. Um, it just gives you a better sense of reason and purpose, I think, at least for me anyway. I'm not going to speak for everyone. But I'm actually starting on the highlights now, which were my favorite part of the whole thing. Um, I use a color dodge layer and just go in with a kind of mid-saturated, mid-value um, color that I think would play well with the uh, the light source. And I just go in with wherever I feel like the light source should be playing off of. It's not 100% an anatomically correct, but it's just what I do and I feel like it works well enough for me anyway. And I actually really like doing the uh, the small details with a, an add glow layer. Like I will put like a, the highlights and the the curve of a face or the uh, the highlight of the eye or just strains of hair. That's probably my favorite part as well. But I don't really have a whole lot more to say about this piece. So I'm just going to head off here and let you guys listen to some music. Um, but I will see you all in my next video. Just let me know in the comments if you've got any suggestions because I always run out of topics to talk about as you can tell because I'm cutting out of here a little close to the end. But anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to watch some more. Bye!